Alright, so for today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to unmobilize a pair of wheels. So I have a brand new Ethic wheel here, and sometimes wheels come ovalized. It's not like, it's not anything bad, it just happens. So today I'm going to teach you how to fix that. Go. Alright, so how can you guys tell if your wheels are ovalized? There's a couple ways you can do it. So, from the first way is if your wheel can go like this, and that happens. See? Bearings are supposed to be in, but they popped right out. That's supposed to be snug. The second way... Alright, so now that the wheel is fully on, how to tell if it's ovalized is when your wheel still goes like this, even when it's fully tightened down. Hear that? That means the wheel is ovalized. Alright, so now that you know that the wheel is ovalized, I can teach you how to fix that. Okay, so now that we have the wheel, I'm going to teach you how to fix it. So you want to get a flathead screwdriver, and you want to go You want to go and put it right there and you want to scrape up. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hi. All right, so now that we finished that part, this is what it should look like. See those little grooves? That's what it should look like. And I'll show you right now what that exactly does. So now that we finished scraping the walls of the wheels, I'm going to put the bearings in and I'm going to show you how much of a difference the wheel is going to be. Alright, so I just finished up with the wheel, and as you can see, it does not wiggle anymore. Alright, so that's how you fix ovalized wheels. Alright, so that was just a little video idea I had. I mean, a lot of people come to the shop and they have ovalized wheels. Ah yeah, so that's how you fix ovalized wheels. If you guys found this video at all helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you clicked the like button and subscribed. And if you guys have any ideas about like working on your scooter, please comment and I'll make a video about it. Alright? See you guys next time.